Marlon, two points dropped, possibly, but still a good way to bounce back after last week. Yeah, um, I think it's spot on. Definitely two points um, dropped. Um, but, you know, it's uh, something to build on. You know, you know, after the last week's performance and result, you know, to come in and play like we did and, you know, create the chance we did, like you said, um, you know, we are a bit gutted not to come away with three points. Um, but it's something to build on, something to uh, use on Saturday and the uh, crack and response from the boys. And a res- good response after such a, an early goal and uh, a bit of a bit of a disastrous one as well. Yeah, um, you know, we, sh- we, we, we can't keep shooting ourselves in the foot like that. Um, started off well again, I know it was only three minutes, but, you know, we've, we've got a corner. And then, you know, for them to break like that, and I think I think it's on Sam's foot and... I don't know whether Sam should just call or whatnot, but um, a bit of a freak goal. But you know, we kind of killed ourselves then. But you know, the reaction to that, um, you know, it was all last year. But I think there's a small, small spell in the second half, which you know, they're going to, with us being on the front foot through the whole game, we're going to tire a little bit. But you know, it's pretty comfortable in there, and you know, I enjoyed myself. And it was you were tripped for the uh, for the penalty. There didn't seem to be any complaints about it. No, I think it was a penalty all day long. Um, you know, I made a run behind him and I'm in front of him and he, he, I've had a touch of the ball and he's pushing me. So, you know, it was a definite pen and I went to go and get the ball and Sh- Sean's at it and <laughs> I wasn't getting off him. So, you know, as, as a captain as well, you got to kind of let him have it and, you know, it was a great penalty. It got us back in the game and, you know, I thought it was only a matter of time till we got the second and got the winner, but it just wouldn't, wouldn't to be today. Yeah, it's good that he's hungry for goals though, isn't it, Sean? It's good that he wants to take it and wants to get up there and, and do that. Yeah, I think he's proved, you know, when he first came here, you know, he's a he's a kind of fox in the box and I think, I think he's going to score us a lot of goals this year, you know, it's blatant to see. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's great to see, you know, he's got four now and you know, hopefully he can kick on and get double figures soon and, you know, hopefully some of the boys can chip in and help him. And what was it like having Darren alongside you? You used to having Russ there, but this time you had Darren there. You know, it does his experience and, and his CV speaks for itself. Um, he's shown us what he can do in, in training and... You know, I think we're kind of quite similar players. Um, you know, and I think today it worked a treat. Um, you know, we both like to get the ball down and play football, and you know, we had a great balance in there today. You know, sometimes he was forward, sometimes I was, and you know, it, it was a pleasure to play with him. And like I said, kind of clicked straight away, and I think that um, helped the team out because you know, things were coming through us, and we were setting up attacks, and it's kind of steadying the ship when we didn't have the ball as well. And backed up by Sam, and also the wide men, because uh, Jermaine and. Uh and Mo, especially in the first half, were, were, were pretty rampant, weren't they? Yeah, um, you know, mine and Dad's kind of first um, port of call was, you know, kind of sit back and you know, kind of let the rest attack. But um, the way it worked out was, you know, one of us could go as well. But, um, I th- you know, I think it was, like I said, one of those areas just huffed and puffed. It was blatant to see that we were the better side. We, we, we played some great football, you know, at times when we weren't going anywhere. We were coming out and keeping the ball. You know, as I feel, you know, football should be played, and you know, on the day, Mo and Mo and Jermaine are probably the best winners in in this league, and when they're running at you, you know, they're dangerous. So, um, at the end of the day, you know, it's disappointing, but you know, the things the things that come out of that game is they're all positive, and you know, it was, it was a good performance, is probably the best performance we've had this season, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. Um, I think we played played them off the park from start to finish, and you know, that's kind of the Cheltenham that I know and the style of football that. We know we can play. Just need a bit more ruthlessness in the yeah, third, maybe. Yeah, I think that's that's spot on. That I think we've got to be a bit more, a bit more ruthless, a bit more calm as well. Um, kind of slashing at things and you know, seven that extra touch. You know, I think Seb said one at the end that we could have carried on going, but it's just just decision making really. When we, when we get in there, we got to keep a cool head and make sure we know what we're going to do. But you know, if we had that extra touch today, or maybe that extra pass, you know, we've gone on one game comfortably. But after last week went in, we've got to have a collective off day. It's uh, it's a good way to come back. Yeah, um, that's it. Today wasn't just in individual performances. It was a it was a great team performance. Um, you know, Brownies had nothing to do all day. Um, so you know, like I said, we, we are disappointed. But like I said, you can't be too down with with the way we played and the cr- chances we created and and how we gelled as a team and you know our response. So um, we know we can do it. So we will use this game now and. You know, I think this could be the start of our season now to kind of kick on and go on a good run. Two tough home games coming up now, South End and Oxford. Yeah, um, it's a pretty tough month this one, um, but you're going to have to play them sometime. Um, you know, we 
looking at our team and the way we played today, there's no way we well, we can't beat them and we're definitely not scared of them. So, you know, as long as we put in you know, the team ethic, the the hungriness and the hard work that we've done today and you know, played football the way we did, you know, I'm pretty sure um, you know, there'll be some good results. On a personal note, hundred games for Cheltenham. How does that feel? Yeah, it's great. Um you know, James told me in the week, um, you know, time flies by really, um but you know, it's it's been great to play hundred games and um, hopefully get Andrew Lee games and then just see where we go. Excellent, thanks Marley. Marley, well, you've come a long way since Barnet away, haven't you? Yeah. As <laughs> well, 100 games and what what sort of stands out from uh, that time? Andy? About, um, about your own personal progression. Uh, as Marlon Pack. Yeah, I think, um, you know, personally I've, I've developed and grown as a player. Um, you know, I've come into my own and I think, um, you know, that's, that's all due to coming to Cheltenham and playing consistently week in, week out. It's, it's made me a better player and you know, it's just made me more hungrier. So, um, you know, I'm still learning and, and still trying to strive to be a better player. But, you know, Cheltenham and these hundred appearances have definitely um, put me in good stead to, you know, I think to go and make a good future for myself. Yeah. Can you can you remember an away game that you passed it as much as you did today as a team and, and also you and Darren in the middle? Um, not as much. I think you know one one of the, it's my first known games, Atkinson away when we beat them four two. I think that was pretty good. But. Um, I've said it before. I think away from home, that, that formation, I think we've always been better. I, you know, I don't know what obviously sometimes you know the way we've been playing lately. You know, teams come to Wadden and kind of set up in a certain way to stop us. But when we're away from home, and that formation, and when we're playing the way we are, you know, it makes it so difficult for teams. And you know, I think that found out today because you know, I don't know what they didn't know what they were doing sometimes. And if I'm not getting it, Karts is getting it, and if Either us getting it, and Sam's in a massive hole over there. To, so, you know, me personally, I, I love that formation. Um, it gives me a role to get on the ball and make things happen, and you know, I just think it makes us a bit more solid throughout as well. Yeah, so do you think the, one of the keys to the season might be trying to work out how to play that at home, or how to make that work at home when teams just come in to defend? Um, yeah, but I f that is definitely what we're going to have to do. Like I said, you know, when we're playing at home, the you know, teams are respecting us now and kind of, you know, sitting off and. Not scared of us, but you know the, they know the threats that we got. But um, you know, with that extra man in midfield, I think there's always should be a should be a pass on. Um, we should always we should always make things happen. So you know, at home we may be a bit more have to be a bit more patient than that because you know teams won't be kind of as open as they were. But um, you know, I think I think there should be no problem. What we can't do um, that performance at home. Yeah, they got booed off at the end, which shows even though it was one all, you know, shows how dominant you were, really, doesn't it? Yeah, I th you know, I think they'll be ecstatic with the point, really. Um, you know, we've we come come from a side that's just got relegated. Um, like I said, we played them off the park from start to finish. Like Brownlee didn't have a save to make. You know, we scored two goals, so um, it's, it is really disappointing. But you know, there's a lot of positives to take, and it's a progression from last week. Yeah, well, one thing people might say is that that team is quite an attacking team, isn't it? Um, defensive wide midfield. Mm. Do you think there's enough protection? Do you think you and Darren can both do that job? Yeah, um, I think that's just the way. Um, it kind of planned out today, you know. Some other days, me and Daz are just going to have to sit there and kind of steady the ship and have a pass in front of us. But you know, as as today works out, you know, one of us could just take turns and vice versa going forward. But you know, if if we are coming under the cash or you know we're a bit more open, that's when me and me and Daz sit there, protect and try and make things happen. Yeah, I saw your dad uh, was sat just in front of me and he came down out of with you after the game. Was he pleased with the performance? Was yeah. Any, any criticism? <laughs> no, not today. Um, that was last week. Um, <laughs> so yeah, he, he was happy today, which um, you know, he's still my dad's still still giving me um, advice and telling me how I do. Sometimes <laughs> I don't want to hear it to be honest, but yeah, you know, it, I think he was happy today as, as we all are. So like I said, it was, it, was a, it was a good positive step in the right direction which now, like I said, I, with that behind us, I think we can use it and hopefully go on a, go on a good little run. Yep.